Hi, my name is Ian Westerman. I'm the head pro at EssentialTennis.com, where it's my mission to bring passionate instruction to passionate tennis players, just like you. Welcome to episode number 44 of Ask Ian. Today we've got a great question from Four Season Pro, who wrote to me on YouTube and said, how do you maintain your own style of play and stay true to your own rhythm with different opponents? I've noticed that I tend to mimic the styles of my opponents rather than keep playing the way I want to. For example, when I play against an aggressive guy, I can also play aggressive and maintain on par with him. But when I play a pusher, uh-oh, pusher, who hits shots slowly, deep, and with high bounces, I can't find a way to be aggressive with him like I know I can be with other players. It seems like the better my opponent is, the better I play, and also the other way around. This makes playing with lower level opponents sometimes difficult and uncomfortable. So how do you stay true to your own style, speed, and level with different opponents? Okay, good question. And this comes down to being able to do two things really, really well. Number one is you must know yourself. You must know what you bring to the table. And this may sound obvious at first, but fact of the matter is, Across the board, when you go to your local tennis courts, whether it be at a park or whether that be at a club, most tennis players are going out onto the courts and they're just hitting shots. They're completely reactionary. All oh, the ball's coming to my left, I better run over there and hit the ball back. Ball's coming to my right, I better run over there and hit the ball back. There's little to no forethought or preparation or self-awareness of what strengths and weaknesses that they individually bring to the table. And so when you don't know those things, how can you possibly expect to maintain any specific style or level or ability of play? And that's why, so, and I'm not, I'm not necessarily saying that this, you know, this is exactly what you're doing, but it kind of sounds like it because this is the reason why so many tennis players, their level fluctuates so wildly depending on the style and level of their opponent. They haven't put in the, the really focused, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Purposeful practice time on the practice court. And so they don't have a very, very strong sense of what they bring to the table. Now, once you've done that and you know for a fact, okay, here's my one, two, and three biggest assets. These are the biggest weapons that I bring to the table. And then also, here's my one, two, and three biggest weaknesses. These are the shots that when I, when I get put in this position and I have to hit this shot, I'm most uncomfortable. If you don't know those things, then how can you ever hope to have an effective plan? And that's step two. Once you have a good self-awareness of what you bring to the table, you must have walking onto the court before the match starts, before you see what style of player your opponent is, before you see what level they are, you need to have a plan A, B, and C. Your plan A is like, okay, if everything is firing on, on all cylinders today, I feel comfortable, I feel confident, this is, these are the patterns that I know are gonna win me the most points because I know this, this, and this about my game. And hopefully you go in there with that plan A and it works, it matches up well against your opponent, you execute and you win and you go home. But usually that's not the way it works. Usually there's, there's a little bit of um, trouble along the way. Things don't match up quite the way that you thought they would against this particular opponent. Maybe you can't quite execute on your strength the way you normally do on this particular day, so you gotta change things up a little bit. So you need to have a good plan B and plan C, and so on and so forth, so that you have other things to fall back on, rather than just going, okay, I'm just gonna go back to hitting shots again and hope this whole thing kind of works itself out. And by the time the dust settles, hopefully I'm, I'm the winner. And quite, again, quite frankly, and you know, not meaning to sound condescending at all, this is how most tennis players play tennis, is they just go out there and they hit shots and they don't have that, perf that awareness or that purposeful plan of action. So those are the things that you need to put into place. And the rest of you watching as well, if you really want to get the most out of your tennis game, you must have those different elements. Um, I, I have a course called Singles Domination that teaches this for singles players, step by step by step by step. Here's how you figure out what your biggest strengths are, what your biggest, biggest weaknesses are. Here's how you plug them in and create your plan A, B, and C. So if you want to become a you know, master of those elements, tactically and strategically, 
be able to execute purposefully instead of just hitting shots, then I highly recommend that you check it out if you really want to, if you really want to take this to the next level. So I'll put a link in the description down below, check it out. And uh, if it looks good to you, give it a shot. It's a very, very comprehensive course. I uh, definitely recommend uh, that you check it out. This sounds like something that you need a little bit of help and specific uh, guidance with. So hopefully this was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching today. If you've enjoyed this video, do me a favor and click like. Also be sure to subscribe to the Essential Tennis YouTube channel so you don't miss out on videos that we're constantly publishing. And if you have any comments or questions, leave those down below as well. Thanks again for watching, take care, and good luck with your tennis.